Hey guys, Paul from Paul's Cards. Just doing a uh, welded uh, small block. So uh, we're doing the deck extension. Uh, we're going over a three inch bore. And uh, we're doing the welded spine on the uh, Honda block. Um, the way I'm doing the spines now, I figured I would just show this. I haven't showed it in a while. Uh, is we're actually grooving through everything. And that leaves us with a really clean look. So here's just a uh, piece of tool steel, basically a boring bar. But you can see, let me just get a clean inside so you get a really cleaner image of this. You can see how this is just going to leave a really clean finish. You know, when we get the, uh, and it all fits in nicely. This is a, this is a smaller piece than's actually going in there. This is, uh, I think almost three quarter, maybe five eighths. I think it's five eighths because it's a five eighths bit. Uh, big, huge, thick. None of that, like, quarter inch stuff. Uh, this would be like competition style. It's going down to Florida. Good friend of mine uh, owns a gym. I'm not going to say his name, but that might get the uh, description from that. But uh, I'm going to take good care of him. He's a good friend of mine. So we're uh, recessing the spine. Instead of welding all weird inside all this stuff and making it look like hell, we recess it and just weld it in the stress spots. Makes a real nice uh, looking block when it's done. But uh, yeah, just did the first cut. I'm gonna end up cleaning some of this and remove this boss pretty much uh, the top of the block area down here. I'm gonna mill this all flat. And then, uh, yeah, we'll weld on the spine. Stay tuned. Making those chips. <laughs> Holy shit. All right guys, and there we have it. About. Six sweaty hours later. It's not welded up yet. But uh, you can see how it's inlaid into the fins. The uh, these we sell on the site. CNC made the top spines I gotta custom make every time just because Every box got slight differences, whether it's a deck extension, or a not deck extension, or a Honda block, or a Predator block, or a Tillotson block. Uh, it's just too many different blocks and variations to have them made, so... Um, we still hand make those, but... Uh, <clears throat> we did all of the milling of the top. You can see all in this area, this is all flat now milled all that down and then we milled through this held the block diagonally milled through the fins you can see this is cut into here this is the strongest way you can make it I know there's some people that just lay a little piece of like quarter inch right there and just tack weld around that but you really need the like thicker than even half inch this is this is thick I mean this is a one inch deck extension this is like three quarter inch here no five eighths I'm sorry it's thick um, and even like unwelded this is like you know it's it's this this right here is probably strong I mean you know it's not even welded in I had to actually bang that in with a hammer so uh, it's got a real tight grip on the block so I'm just going to kind of weld it up here to grab the front, weld it down here to grab the block, and that'll brace, you know, this area of the block. Weld the deck extension on. The way the deck extensions we have them made is we, uh, we line them up with the dowel pins. So you still use the dowel pins to locate it because uh, the ones I had made before, didn't have the dial pins and it was kind of a bitch. We used to put the bolts in. We also carry the bolt, um, the head studs that are longer um, for the welded uh, deck extensions. They got another inch on them. So yeah, I'm gonna get this finished up. I always like to radius these. 
the front and the rear with the radius. Just think it looks better. Nothing too crazy. But uh, we'll have a nice competition block. My buddy down in Florida. So this is Paul's. This is Paul's Carts. Hope you guys like the project. Till next time, guys. Have a nice day.